cabinets, fixtures, and appliances. How do we draw these and what do they represent when you're reading them? Okay, if you see a kitchen, uh, you need to know what is it that you're looking at. So we continue here. We're going to look at some, uh, there we go. Um, I think we discussed this already. Whenever you have, you have a kitchen, any given kitchen, you're going to have a solid line that extrudes from the wall. We know now where the walls are, right? We know where the windows are. And let's say this is a kitchen. This solid one that projects out is the bottom cabinet. And this hidden ones are the upper cabinets. Okay. So uh, they're going to be, in your case, you're going to be drawing them hidden to show where your cabinets are and where is your base cabinet are. Okay. So this go down from the wall to feet. This are your ba the base cabinets where you put your food, where you're preparing. And this, this one here is the upper cabinets where you put the plates, when you wash them, and so on and so forth. So that's what they mean. So, in, for example, uh, actually, why is this like this? Oh, interesting. See how this cabinet, it's coming in into the window? So it's like uh, if you were looking from the outside, you're going to see a piece of a cabinet in the window unless this window is somewhere on the top or, or way lower under the uh, cabinet. Okay, so that you'll probably need to explain how you put that together. Because it seems like that cabinet, it's covering that window. And again, more than likely this window is higher above this or lower uh, in between the base cabinet and the, and the upper cabinet. So... I just saw it right now and said what it really kind of got my attention. So that's what it means. Uh, it could be hidden. It doesn't matter. More than likely, you're just going to have it like this. Okay, I think we discussed this in, uh, in, in a previous um, first class, I think. So again, base cabinets, 24 inches. Remember what we said on the assignment? How do you find out uh, if you have a scale? Well, for, for, uh, 24 inches, which is 2 feet. Upper cabinets, they go up from the wall 2 inches, and they are represented by a hidden line. If it go, continues like this, it means that it goes above the fridge, which we have it there. Uh, and then more or less, it tells you the size of it. So this, this, this information is good to know when you're designing. That way, you know more or less the spaces you need. Okay? It's a Lazy Susan, which is uh, it's underneath or maybe on top, or that it's like a, uh, like a little platform. And it just, uh, what is it called? It, it, uh, it rotates. So it, for condiments and stuff like that, or even for dishes, you can put it, it, it saves space. You just roll this and then you have all the information. Just Google that. You, you know what I'm talking about. So you can picture it. Pantry, uh, the oven, so on and so forth. So these are, uh, this is how it gets represented. For example, this one here, which is by seeing on this side, there's a... Uh, there's no wall. See, I don't see a wall right here, so I need to look, see what is it going on. It's like a cabinet right here in this area. You have some cabinet, some cabinets, but on this side, on this side of the room, which I don't know what it is, there's a bar. Okay, it goes all the way through. So more than likely, cooktop uh, with food, blah, blah, blah. More than likely from here, they can pass food. There's probably space in between the, the well, the same space you have from the bottom cabinet to the top cabinet, that area which uh, first you can picture when you go home, they, they have access to maybe put some food through here and they can get it here on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the bar. Okay, so that's how you read. That's what, that's, this is what we're looking at. And then you have a dishwasher. Again, it's solid on the outside and then hidden on the inside. That means it's underneath. And you see this part, whatever, again, whatever surfaces you see, they're going to be solid. Whatever surfaces you don't see, but you know they're there, they're going to be hidden. So that's underneath, that's underneath. A trash compact. Okay? So that's what we're looking at. And uh, these are, uh, what is this? Okay. Bedrooms. Or my bedrooms. Uh, restrooms. In this case, uh, this one looks like a master bedroom because it's a lot bigger. You have access. Uh, you have your... Um, um, sinks right they look like this medicine cabinet that one again if it's going to be part of the house you have to put it uh, like if they have to provide that space so they can build it in uh, this is going to be a spa 
with windows right there, step to get in, shower, a seat, you need to dry too. Uh, whenever you have a shower, you have to put an X and then a circle in the middle showing where the drain is going to be and how the water is actually draining down this way. Okay, so you put that. Uh, a pocket door to get into a toilet and the symbol of the toilet, for sure you're, 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 you know that. A bench, a built-in bench. Linen closet with no doors, probably open. And then a door to get into the wardrobe. And then you have out there. Okay. Same thing for this one. So that's what it, it, they represent. Shower. Standard tub is going to be drawn like this. Again, look at it. It's different than that one. So you need to draw it as such. Uh, what I wanted to show you, utility rooms. Uh, let's see. There was a, this one here. This is good to have when you start designing. Uh, again, you know what it is. Uh, uh, water closet or the toilet. You know what they are. This is very good information to have. When you start designing, you can use this as a standard of how much space you're going to provide for your restroom in this case. All right? So you can say from the edge to the other surface, whatever it could be, I need 30 inches if I'm doing something like this. I need 24 inches or I need 21 inches uh, for knee space. I need 24. I need 24. I need 21. If I want to do just something like this, like a powder room. Uh, well, this is not a powder room. It's a... Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a powder powder room somewhere here, but this is good to have. To when you're designing, how much space do you need for what you're trying to do? So this is some, some standard. So you know, keep it keep it uh, handy. This right here are uh, utility rooms. I'm guessing you have a shelf on top. This is solid bottom cabinet, dishwasher, washer. This is some sort of a like a what's it called? Uh, Lavatory. On the inside, if the dish, uh, washer and dryer are going to be inside like a little space with folding doors, you have to draw them the way they are. And again, this is very handy to have because it tells you if you want to do this type of design, you need 5 6 minimum on the interior and uh, 36 inches minimum on the interior so you can fit the washer and the dryer. Okay, so this is very helpful. Okay, uh, water heater, furnace. Surface mounted. This is the ironing board. Built in. See how see how it cuts here. So they have to provide that support so it's a built in. So you can make it into a built in iron board. Ironing board. Okay. Uh, what is this? Let me see. I'm going to close a little bit faster. You guys can read on this. Floor materials. Let me jump into this one already. Um, remember when I said it in, in commercial that. It, and I'm going this. Depends on the room you are. You probably have a schedule that tells you what type of flooring you have. Like this here, this one, we don't know what type of flooring you have in the in the, in the corridor. On the information comments, what floor am I using? You don't know, right? You need to go to a uh, to a schedule. In residential, more than likely, you will have it like this. Each room is going to have at the bottom what type of flooring you have. So living room, I say carpet, dining room, vinyl, bath tub tile or silk concrete whatever it is you can also put it on the actual room label the, on the type of material you're going to use that's one way of doing it uh, here is sections this is what I discussed in the first video that I made a mistake when you're talking about section it's you get you put this symbol this is a section symbol what it means it, is that you cut through it right you remove this back and then you look at whatever you cut so this is plan view, this is a section on a plan view, and then you do a section view, all right? Section, which is a cut on the plan view, which is this, and then you look at it, depends where this is pointing, and then you do a section view of that. So in other words, this that you have here, this wall, it's this one, and then th from this line or this uh, side of the dark line, which is a wall, to this solid one, it's a shelf, which is from there to there. And then this center line you have there represents the rod, which is right there. And then you have a little member there to provide support. Okay, so this is a section. You cut through it, and you, you'll see this. Watch. You see you see the symbol for elevation, and then the, the symbol for a section, it's, um, where is it? Da, 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 da. It's right here. See, you have, it goes through from here, and then that line goes all the way through. All the way through, 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 through, and here it is. 
So in other words, they build a section through this building, through that part. So somewhere there's a section of that. So those type of symbols, you also are going to see them in your um, in your plan. So you need to know where they are and how to reference them. Okay, so that's basically what it, what it is. Slate, you're going to draw like this. Um, I guess more on the, the, the tile, you can draw like that and so on and so forth. Okay, when you're drawing, um, let's see, let's go to the next one. Well, this you can read on your own. I'm not going to go over this. Uh, just let me add one more thing. Well, actually, no. I can tell you this later on. Okay, so that's uh, for um, uh, the uh, spaces, and this is for the, the actual um, the cabinets and the uh, uh, fixtures and appliances, the symbols you have to look for, and also for some materials, how, how are they going to look, okay? Floor plan materials. So uh, read the book a little bit more carefully. And like, probably in the next video, we'll finish uh, the chapter, and that'll be for chapter three. All right, so let's wait for the next one.